Good morning, fourth graders. Today we're on page 237 of your student journal, page 237. And our objective today is, today I will write a fraction in decimal form and place it on a number line. Okay, so let's look at that. Today I will write a fraction in decimal form and place it on a number line. So we've been working with fractions. What we're really gonna work on today is the relationship between fractions and decimals and see how they're connected, okay? So let's look at our first vocabulary. It says decompose a fraction to break down into smaller parts. So 48 hundredths is the same as 4 tenths plus 8 hundredths. Now, Ms. Munoz might have done this a little different. The reason it's the same, and I want we're gonna write it down here, is because 48 hundredths is the same as 40 hundredths plus eight hundredths. So 40 hundredths plus eight hundredths would give us 48 hundredths, and we know that four tenths is the same as 40 hundredths. So they kind of skipped all the way to that step, but that's why they're equal. Okay, now this is decimal form. This is, if I read this fraction, I'd say 48 hundredths. This decimal is also read as 48 hundredths because if we look at it in the place value chart, I see 48 and you always say the last place value. So because eight is the last place value, we would say this. So we would read this as 48 hundredths. We might also read it as zero and 48 hundredths but this is called 48 hundredths, which is the same value as it written as a fraction. So this is what we're going to be working on today, is really seeing how these are connected. So convert, it means to change form without changing value. So they converted this fraction into a decimal, so they changed the form or the way it looked, but they didn't change the value or how much it was worth. Okay, so let's look at our steps today because I'm going to follow them pretty closely. It says we're going to decompose the fraction and write as tenths and hundredths. So that's what they did here. So we're breaking apart the fraction. Then we're going to write the decomposed fraction on the hundredths grid and place value chart. We're going to say the decimal. And the neat thing about saying the decimal is it's going to sound exactly like it did as a fraction. So this is 48 hundredths, 48 hundredths. So they sound exactly the same. And then we're gonna represent the decimal on the number line and label the equivalent fraction on top of the number line. Okay, so there's a lot going on there, friends. So you might wanna follow along with your steps as I'm working. Okay, here is my first problem. And my first problem says, write 37 hundredths in decimal form then place on the number line. Okay, so my first step says I'm gonna decompose the fraction. Well, what do I know about 37 hundredths? I know that 37 hundredths is 30 hundredths plus seven hundredths, right? Well, don't I also know that 30 hundredths is the same as three tenths? So what they wanted me to do is they wanted me to decompose the fraction into tenths and hundredths. So because 37 hundredths is the same as 30 hundredths plus 7 hundredths, I was able to go there and then I know that 30 hundredths is the same as 3 tenths plus 7 tenths. So this is what they want me to get to in step one. Okay, step two is they want me to place this on the hundreds grid. Okay, well what do I know about three tenths? 
Well, even though this is a hundred grid, could I maybe picture that if it was just divided into tenths, I could say this is one tenth, because if I just look at the columns, that's two tenths, that's three tenths. So there's my three tenths, plus seven hundredths would be these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is what 37 hundredths looks like, or 3 tenths and then 7 hundredths. Okay, they also want me to place it on the place value chart. Well, 3 tenths means in the tenths place value I put a 3, and seven plus 7 hundredths means in the hundredths place value I put a 100. So 37 hundredths as a fraction looks like this as a decimal. And again, I could say zero and, so for the decimal friends, we always say the word and. So I could say zero and 37 hundredths, because we always say the last place value. We don't say the tenths, we say the last one. And since there's nothing in thousands, that's what I'd say. So I could say zero and 37 hundredths, or since it's a zero and it doesn't really matter, I could just say 37 hundredths. Okay. Now they want me to show this on a number line. So they want me to show what 37 hundredths looks like. Well, 3 tenths, look at it like that, 3 tenths is 0.3. So 3 tenths would be here, right? That's what 3 tenths looks like because this is divided into tenths, um, which is also the same as 1 tenth two tenths and three tenths. So three tenths is the same as this three tenths. Plus they want seven hundredths. So these little dashes would be seven. So I'd have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it would be right there. So it'd be zero and thirty-seven, I'm sorry, zero and thirty-seven hundredths, or it would look like this. 37 hundredths. They're in the same spot and they're equivalent. They have the exact same value. So 37 hundredths is equal to 37 hundredths. They have the same value. They're equivalent. Okay, let's look at another one of those. Here's my next one. And it says, write six tenths plus eight hundredths in decimal form, then place on the number line. Okay, well, step one says decompose my fraction into tenths and hundredths, but they already did it for me. They already have tenths and hundredths, so I don't really need to. So I can put it right on here. I have six tenths, which means it's going to go here, and eight hundredths goes in the hundredths. So that would be it in decimal form. Zero and 68, remember we say the last place value hundredths or we just say 68 hundredths. Okay, and on my place value chart, six tenths would look like, that would be one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, and eight hundredths, each one of these is a hundredth. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and they didn't add these, but I could add these because I could go backwards and say six tenths is the same as 60 hundredths plus eight hundredths would give me 68 hundredths, right? So 68 hundredths and then this is 68 hundredths. Okay, if they wanted me to put it on the number line, well, I have six tenths. So I either have these six tenths or these six tenths. They're exactly the same because one tenth there is one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths. So here it says 0.6, here it says 0.6, or here it says six tenths. It's the same thing. So that would be my six tenths, and then they want eight hundredths. So those are the little ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it'd go right there. So right there is 68 hundredths, or it is 
68 hundredths because they're equivalent. They're the same in value. So we could write that up here. We could say 68 hundredths is equivalent to 68 hundredths. Okay, let's try some of these together. We are on page 238. 238, and here's our first one. Okay, and it says write the fraction in decimal form and place it on the number line. Okay, so what do we know about 71 hundredths? Let's, let's decompose that into 70 hundredths plus one hundredth. So I just decompose the 71 into 70 and one. Okay, the reason I did that, friends, is because then we can change 70 hundredths into seven tenths plus one hundredth, because that's what step one wants us to do, to, to decompose this into tenths and hundredths, okay? Okay, now that we've done that, Step two says they want us to put it on the grid and the place value chart. So what do we have? We have seven tenths, so that would be one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five, six, and seven. That's what seven tenths looks like because I'm trying to just picture the columns. And then we have one hundredth. So we have to just color in one. So that's what 71 hundredths looks like. Okay, and if we put it on the place value chart, we have seven tenths. So in the tenths column, we have a seven. And in the, we have one hundredth. So in the hundredths column, we have a one. And here we call this 71 hundredths, and here we call this 71 hundredths, because we say the last place value. Or we could say zero and 71 hundredths. Okay, now they want us to put it on the place value chart. Let's put our fractions here. They gave us a decimal place value. Let's put our fractions. So this is one tenth. This is two tenths, and as a fraction, that's what it looks like. That's called three tenths, but as a fraction, it looks like this. Four tenths. 5 tenths, 6 tenths, 7 tenths, 8 tenths, 9 tenths, and this would be 1. It could be either 1 whole or it could even be 10 tenths. Okay, so what do they want us to do? They want us to have 7 tenths. Okay, they want us to go to 7 tenths. So 7 tenths would go all the way there. And that's either 7 tenths or 7 tenths here. It's the same, plus just 1 hundredth, so just right there. And it's gonna be so hard to write there, friends. I don't have room, but it's gonna be right there. So that would be called 71 hundredths right there. Or, I don't have room up there, it's the same as 71 hundredths. They're equivalent, they're exactly the same in value. Okay, let's look at our next one. Looks like this. Okay, they've already decomposed it for us. They've already broke it up into tenths and hundredths. So we could just jump right into step two and put it on the place value chart. I'm sorry, on the grid. So eight tenths would be one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths. That's eight tenths and two hundredths right there. So we have 82 hundredths because total this would be 82. And if we added this, if we went backwards and changed that, eight tenths is the same as 80 hundredths plus two hundredths. So I know we get 82 hundredths. Okay, they also want it here. So eight tenths means an eight goes in the tenths and two hundredths means a two goes there. So like we read this, 82 hundredths, how would we read this? 82 hundredths. 
So see how they're exactly the same, the exact same value, it's just fraction form, decimal form. Okay. I know it's hard because my markers are not thin, but now let's put in our fraction. So that's one tenth, and as a in fraction form, it's one tenth. Two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, and we can keep going. Five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths nine tenths, and then of course this is one, so it's 10 tenths or just one. Okay, so what do they want us to do? They want eight tenths or eight tenths, so it doesn't matter if we look which way, but it's gonna go to the eight. So that's eight tenths for this, or eight tenths for this, they're the same, and then they want two hundredths, so it's right there. That's where we would be, that would be 80, two hundredths would go right there. Okay, and then what's that equivalent to? It's equivalent to 82 hundredths, which is kind of neat that you say them exactly the same because they have the same value. Okay, friends, keep practicing these and have a good day. Bye.